Welcome back. We're talking about Florida's dirty water problem all week, leading up to a big day of coverage tomorrow. And we want to answer your questions and get results to help save our most precious resource. But the problem is this really isn't a new problem. In the Indian River Lagoon, the problem began decades ago. Click Orlando's Brianna Voles joins us now to explain. Hi, Bri. Hi, Julie. That's right. It's nothing new at all. We put together a timeline to explain how we got here. Let's scroll down here and take a look. Starting in the 60s right here, we all know the Space Coast really began to boom in the 60s with the opportunities the space race brought NASA. And then by the 1970s, the development in the area leads to more pollutants and depleted oxygen levels in the lagoon. Okay, so you can see where this is going, right? And it just gets worse from there. The polluting continues over the years, and we scroll down again, and you can see in this picture, this is Tony the turtle. This is devastating. By 2012, dolphins and sea turtles begin to show signs of tumors caused by contaminants. That's just a heartbreaking picture, ladies. Look at those tumors on him. Awareness of the issue continues to rise, but so do the problems, including raw sewage spills. And then by 2016, the brown tide and algae growth are visible from space from space. Just let that sink in for a second. It's a long ways away. Now that's just a quick overview of how we got here and you can see all the details on our timeline now on clickorlando.com slash water. You'll also find many more resources including what our, politi what our politicians are doing and how you can help fix the problem. Again, that's all on clickorlando.com slash water. Ladies.